Adding multiple cards in Phoenix Light. To use this tool, you must set up all accounts and product restrictions, or else it won't work. Go to Settings, then Global, then Product Restrictions. Products, product restrictions, and quantity restrictions are stored in the Fuel Site controller. They are linked to Phoenix only by the code. This is the artware software used for setting up the Fuel Site controller. Here you can see what code relates to what product or restriction. You have to manually label the description in Phoenix and make sure the code matches what is in the Fuel Site controller. If you go to a card, you can see that product and quantity restrictions are set. Go to Card Import. Download the template. In order for this to work, you must have Excel. The file is specifically formatted and only works with Excel. The program will generate a spreadsheet based on your settings. We saved it to the desktop. Open it and click Yes when Excel asks you to open it anyway. You can see here we have a drop down to select an account, as well as the card type, etc. You must select all options on this spreadsheet for it to import correctly. You can manually add the card number and name. The PIN number only works if you select driver or single card. If you select vehicle, it gets ignored. You can leave the rest of the fields blank. Check to see if update cards is set to yes. This is always recommended. In this example, we also selected fuel at all sites. Make sure you select all the options that are necessary for your site. And then save the file. Go back to Phoenix and click Browse to find the file we just saved. Select it and click Open. Then press the Import button in Step 5. Once the import is complete, go to Utilities and click Update. 